Whoa! I want ramen! No, we only have five yen. Keiji, long time no see. I've come to repay the favor from back then. Uh, that time! I'm Keiji, 28 years old, and run this diner by myself. Hey, Keiji! The place still looks dead as ever, huh? This is Satoru. He's a classmate from culinary school days. Never thought you, the top student, would end up like this man. Are you here to throw shade or what? That's obvious, ain't it? But you know, my joint's booming. It's the real deal, top-notch restaurant, right? Your dingy diner is a far cry from this place. I see that. If you ever get tired of this place, you can come work for me doing dishes anytime. That's none of your business. <laughs> Let's see how long you can keep up that tough act. Mm. After graduating from culinary school, I apprenticed at this place. For me, without parents around, the master chef of this diner was the only trustworthy adult I had. But then, he suddenly passed away, and I ended up taking over this place. This diner was where I got my start on the path to becoming a chef. I didn't want to give up on this place that holds so many memories for me that easily. With this notebook the master chef left behind, I'm gonna bring this place back to life! After he passed away, the regulars stopped coming, and the place became deserted. Then one day... Whoa! Aww. What's the matter with them? No! We don't have any money. I want ramen! Oh, we can't. We only have five yen. But I want to eat! We can't! We have no money. Get it? I'm hungry. Uh, so am I. What are you doing here? Are you lost? Koharu wants to eat ramen. I see. Then come on in. We only have five yen. What? Come on. Let's go home, Koharu. Oh. Do you really want to eat ramen so much? Uh. Let's eat next time, okay? Then... Since there's no customers, 5 yen is fine. Huh? R really? Yeah, I gotta have someone eat it or else I won't improve my skills either. Hey, feel free to grab any seat you like. Uh, yay! Isn't it great, Koharu? Uh... Here you go. You've gotta thank him, Koharu. Uh... Sorry, Koharu's really shy. It's okay. Dig in while it's hot. Oh, thank you so much. Delicious! Super great, isn't it? <laughs> I'm glad it suits your palate. But I wonder where these kids live, though. They look pretty lively, but their clothes are a bit dirty. Do you guys live around here? Yes! We were playing at the park! Oh, you mean Spot Build Duck Park nearby? Yeah! Mom was out of town for work, so we were playing at the park. I see. You guys are small, but really mature, huh? I can only eat ramen once in a while. But I want to eat more! Right. Koharu loves ramen. She's always asking for more. Maybe their home situation is pretty tough. You can come by anytime you want to eat from now on. What? Yay! But I feel bad. We don't have money. Having you two around makes the place look better, you know. And besides, it's pretty slow without any customers coming in. But in return, will you give me feedback on what you thought after every meal? Thank you so much! Thank you! <sighs> but remember, overeating leads to gaining weight. So take it easy, okay? Alright! Huh? Oh, so now you're resorting to doing business with little kids. That's pretty low, man. Oh, it's you again. Are they okay? They're not gonna get a stomach ache, are they? No way that's happening. Who knows? You haven't been cooking for customers for ages. So I was wondering if you were messing up the recipe, you know? I like this place better than yours. Huh? 
You were sending customers away from your place. They were really sad, you know? Huh? I didn't do that. You were telling them they don't belong in this place. Uh, but that's the policy of my restaurant. So you guys wouldn't understand. I'm sorry, are you okay? I was a little scared. I hate that guy! You don't get along? Well, back in culinary school, me and that guy were always competing for the top spot. But I won the grand prize at graduation. And then the girl he liked started liking me, and then... I mean, you have no idea what I'm talking about, right? Mr. Popular! Oh, well... <laughs> Consider it an apology for his attitude. Swing by anytime you want to eat. Yay! What's he even thinking, doing business with kids? But I feel like this could be the start of a turnaround in his luck. After that, the sisters dropped by my diner casually. They were very helpful, giving me detailed feedback on the taste. They came by two or three times a week. Then one day, their mother came to say hello. Thank you so much for always taking care of my daughters. I never imagined they were eating for just five yen. I am really sorry for causing you trouble. No, no, no. It's okay. I'm also grateful for their help. Someday I'll definitely pay you back all at once. Until then, would it be okay if I rely on your kindness? Of course. Don't even worry about paying me back. Maybe their mom put in a good word, because every time the sisters came, they started helping bring in customers too. With the cute kids pitching in to attract customers, foot traffic gradually started picking up. Feel bad always making them help out. But thanks to them, this place is slowly... Hey, Keiichi! Just because your place isn't making that much profit doesn't mean that's okay. S Satoru. Isn't it against the rules to make these kids work? I'm having fun doing it. They all come and thank me. That's what Keiichi told you to say, huh? That's not true. Listen, Keiichi. This isn't fair. If you're a real man, prove yourself with your own skills. I know. I couldn't come up with a comeback to Satoru's valid point. But later on, Satoru started bringing in customers to his place too. Performing magic shows, etc. It was to the extent that my place was completely overshadowed. I reckon he's just trying to mess with me, plain and simple. He's probably just acting out of spite from losing back in culinary school days. My diner started losing customers again, and I found myself with more free time on my hands. Well, I guess that's it then. But as long as those sisters keep coming around, I should... Excuse me? Oh, Yui. Hello there. Actually, there's something I'd like to talk to you about. Can I order a bowl of ramen? Sure. Huh? To your parents' house? Yes. It's been four years since my divorce. I've put my kids through a lot. I've relied on you to do things that are beyond the norm, and I've been grateful. I knew things shouldn't go on like this. Then, my parents back home told me that I could come back anytime. I see. I'm really sorry for all the trouble. Despite everything you've done for me, I'll pay all the money by next month. I understand the situation. Don't worry about it. The noodles will get soggy. Please eat up. Thank you. It felt like a tension I'd been holding onto just snapped. It was like I heard a voice saying, It's time to let go. You've done well until now. It's goodbye, I guess. Finally calling it quits, huh? Too bad. You've been top-notch, but your diner's shutting down. While I... Forever second best, stick around in a high-end restaurant. Always seem to get a kick out of my misfortune, huh? I just think life is really interesting. Well, keep your chin up, man. You've got talent, after all. Next time, find yourself a decent place to apprentice at, man. This diner was never a bad place. And just like that, my career as a chef came to an end. Never had the drive to work anywhere else but here. Spent my days doing day labor and hanging out at the internet cafe. Lost all motivation, feeling like an empty shell. Satoru's restaurant was getting bigger and bigger. But 
I couldn't care less about any of that. Ten years passed. That day, I didn't have enough cash from day labor to hang out at the internet cafe, so I ended up in line at the soup kitchen. It's cold today. Fourth day chilling in the park. Never had those wealthy moments in life. Ow, hot. Hey, isn't that Keiichi? Keiichi, right? Uh, can't believe you've fallen this low. This is hilarious. <laughs> uh, getting laughed at by Satoru, and I was on the verge of losing all will to keep going. But then, something unexpected happened. I found you. I've been looking for you. Keiichi, long time no see. You must take a bath right away! Who are they? Do I know you? Huh? Don't you recognize me? I'm here to repay you for what you did for me. Have you forgotten us, sisters? Huh? Are you... by any chance... Oh, you guys were doing the hustling back then. Come on, let's go. All right, let's start the comeback from here. S seriously I was taken along by the sisters, who had grown and changed dramatically. Is this your place? That's right! My big sis became a top model! And married a CEO! He's so kind! And built this house for us! W what Welcome, Keiichi! Sorry I couldn't come pick you up myself! No, no, no! You've become so beautiful! Mom looks so pretty, right? KG, you gotta step up your game, too! Am I dreaming? I've never experienced anything as astonishing in my entire life! I was just in a state of shock at how things were unfolding. Here you go! Some fruits! Help yourself to whatever you like! Th thank you! So, I'll get right to it. I've got a favor to ask, that's why I invited you over. Mind if we have a little chat? Yes, of course. Actually, I want you to reopen the diner, and I'll cover all the expenses. In return, I want you to take Koharu as your apprentice. No, no, no! It's not that simple. It costs a fortune. And offering a total stranger like me that much? In the first place, it was you who helped strangers, wasn't it? I will never forget the taste of that ramen. I was so impressed by the taste track then that I'm still studying at culinary school. Thanks to you, I found dreams and goals. Please let me repay the favor and learn from you. Please? I'm begging you too, please? Oh, please lift up your head. It's me who should be asking for that. Are you sure you want me to do this? There's no one else but you, Keiji. Please, I beg you. I understand. I'll do my best. And so, I found myself returning to the culinary path once more. The feelings inherited from my master have been passed on to someone else. I was moved by this fact. Three months later... This is my diner. We kept the same vibe as that old diner, but spruced it up a bit. All this money came from your sister's husband, right? How generous and rich. For him, my sister's happiness is his own happiness. However... Why are we building it right next to Satoru's restaurant? How far are you gonna stick with me, huh? Hey! I'm the one that wants to ask. Well, there's no way I'm gonna lose to you with your cooking hiatus and all. Our place has grown bigger than it was 10 years ago. There's no way we're gonna lose. The clientele's different, so let's get along. I've got a bad feeling about this. All right, we've got a month to get back in the groove, so sharpen your cooking skills. Have you hardly cooked at all in the past 10 years? Well, yeah, I did look at recipes once in a while. If you need more time than that, let me know. Will do. I had a sense of duty to repay this favor. Every day, as long as I had the strength, I worked on my cooking. He's still doing it. I hope his cooking talent has gone down the drain. A month later, we opened the restaurant. And then, out of nowhere, something surprising happened. What's going on? 
We all, like, reached out to acquaintances, me, my sister, everyone. Let's kick off with a strong start. And make sure to get feedback from everyone right from the beginning. Th thank you. By the way, the ingredients are top notch. Wow, amazing. They're shining. On the first day of opening, I put all my effort into cooking as much as I could. I might be a bit biased, but I think the customer reactions were pretty positive. After closing, I made sure to check the surveys right away and use the feedback the next day. We kept experimenting like that for three months straight. Wow, it's amazing! You're getting regular customers. It's all thanks to Yui, Koharu, Suzuka, and everyone. Keiichi's cooking is so delicious! There is so much to learn! I knew your talent was outstanding, Keiichi. Well, it's not that big of a deal. Oh, by the way, forgot to mention, we've got a TV crew coming in this afternoon. What? Everything's fine, as usual, though. Thanks in advance. Let's give it our best shot, Keiichi! I wonder if I'm okay. All right, here we go! Let's eat gourmet! Today's first stop is right here. It's a local diner. This is the manager. What do you recommend? Well... Ramen, I guess. We make it based on a secret recipe. Then, I'll go with the ramen. Keiichi, can I get the usual, please? Jeez. Huh? Is he a regular here? Let's chat and find out. Why is he here? Hello, are you a regular here? Oh, yeah. The ramen here isn't that great. But I come to support him because of our connection from culinary school days. Uh, I see. To be honest, the soup's bland. The noodles are mushy. And the char shoe pork's like rubber. I even told him he should just quit cooking altogether. That's some harsh criticism, huh? Well, can't help it. The other items are pretty much the same. Come on, it's alive! Why so mean? Here's your ramen. Sorry for the wait. That Oyakodon totally misses the mark on bringing out the flavor of the chicken. I mean, seriously! Alright then, let's dig in. What do you think? Disappointing, isn't it? This ramen... Please, let Keiji's feelings reach him! Indeed. This is... Delicious! The taste here has a unique charm compared to your typical ramen spot. It reminds me of the taste of street food, but with top-notch ingredients shining through. This ramen is amazing! Oh, yay! Thank you very much. No way! It's not that great, you know? You don't seem to understand anything. Well, taste is subjective, but everything you just mentioned about the soup and noodles is completely off. I gotta question your taste buds, man. Ah. Alrighty then. With that, adding a touch of culinary professionalism, Shameless Me is gonna polish off this ramen. This guy's a brutally honest reporter who rarely finishes his meals. You did it! It's a miracle. Damn it! The plan failed! Gotta come up with something else. Huh? You're the one from earlier. What? We're supposed to interview at this place, too. You weren't behind any sabotage there earlier for the interview, were you? Kidding. If you're that confident in your cooking skills, I'll look forward to it then. What the hell is going on? Satoru! His restaurant dishes got slammed. This TV personality couldn't stand crookedness and had a sharp tongue. The manager was naturally furious and asked Satoru about what happened. When Satoru told the manager the truth, he became calm and said one thing. Looks like you need some time to reevaluate yourself. What? Satoru was banned from the restaurant. Satoru was eating his heart out and vowed. I ain't gonna mess with Keiichi ever again. Satoru went to another restaurant to get some training. But word got out about this incident. They said he got strictly trained from dishwashing. He's apparently toughing it out through that training. Grumbling all the way but still managing to hang in there. My diner later won a cheap but tasty local food competition. Business is booming, and I'm planning to open up a second spot with a steady flow of customers. I'm just so filled with gratitude. KG 
Chi, thank you for your hard work. Hi there. Want to grab a bowl of ramen? Is that okay? Thank you. I've got nothing but gratitude for those sisters, you know. We're happy to return the favor, too. My diner's getting bigger and bigger. That's very encouraging. Um, I've got something to talk about. How about having dinner with me sometime? What? I mean, I also want to hear about Koharu, so... By all means! <laughs> Thank you so much! I'm gonna keep on running this shop and wielding these skills passed down by my master from here on out. Thank you for watching to the end! And please subscribe to the channel! Thank you very much!